workflow again, with modern PVC windows and doors, you do tend to find that they don't seal as well as they get older. A um, couple of things that we can do very, very easily. A lot of modern locks have a head in the top of the cam, the locking part, where you can insert an Allen key. And by turning it, it moves that lock backwards or forwards, and that will increase the pressure and the seal on the gaskets of your windows. So all you need to do is to insert an Allen key, and as you turn that, it will move the lock backwards or forwards, increase the pressure, and give you a better seal to make the window more airtight. Now, if you find that the gaskets on the window are wearing, or they've damaged, shrunk, they're normally very easy to change. Uh, by simply pulling on this one, we can see we can pull the gasket out, take the gasket into your local shop, and buy a replacement. When you fit the gaskets, try to glue the ends together, or cut them slightly oversized so that if they shrink, you don't end up with a gap. And then pushing them back in, very easy. Job done. Now, many of us own cars, and to have a car and never put any oil in the engine, never to lubricate moving parts would be a crime. We know it's going to lead to problems. And modern windows and doors are exactly the same. You've got moving parts in the way of locks, handles, hinges, and if we don't lubricate them, you will have problems. So to make sure that your uh, PVC and aluminium windows last as long as possible, you need to be ensuring that you lubricate the parts on the locks, on the windows and the doors, and also on the hinges on the windows and doors. And I'd recommend something like a, a light lubricating oil, and just spray into the parts that you see that are moving, and then all you need to do is just wipe off the excess uh, afterwards. And it will keep them working for years.